Welcome to Core and More. You just need a mat and some space to move for this class. We're going to be down on the ground the whole time. So we'll get started. We have our lovely assistant, Roosevelt, per usual. We'll see if he's as crazy as he was for yoga. But so our warm up will actually start on all fours, just with some gentle movement with cat and cow. So hands will be directly below shoulders, knees below hips. We'll take a big inhale to drop the belly down, lift the gaze, lift the tailbone. Then we'll exhale to press through the palms and round out the spine. Inhale to drop the belly down, lift the tailbone. And exhale to round out the spine. Let's go through two more at your own pace. Inhales to drop the belly down, lift our gaze. And exhales to round out the spine, press through the palms. Good. Go one more here. Whenever you're done with that second rotation, you can slowly just make your way to a neutral spine. From here, we'll just take some time to roll the wrists out. Just alternate sides. Good. All right, and we'll move to some hip circles next. So just slowly starting to draw circles with the hips, shifting ourselves forward, backward, just getting some again, gentle movements, kind of moving side to side, moving forward and backward. Good, and we'll switch directions, draw circles the other way. You can move as big or as small as you'd like, kind of play around and find whatever feels good. Get a few more here. Good. Then our last warm up exercise we have a push up to child's pose. I'm starting to move into a little bit of work here. Hands are about shoulder width apart. We'll just lower down, exhale to press, and then we'll just slowly stretch it back. Moving forward, back to one push up. Knees low as comfortable and stretch it back. You can move at your own pace here. We'll be here for about 15 more seconds. Last five, four, three, two, one. And you can finish with a stretch back. Good. All right, and walk the hands up towards you. We'll give the hands a good shake. Starting off our first set here, we're gonna be in that same positioning on hands and knees. So first exercise we have is the knee to elbow and leg extension. So I'll show you, we're gonna use that right side first. I'll actually flip myself around here so you can see. So we're gonna be up on the hands, staying down on that left knee. We're just going to keep that right leg lifted the whole time as we bring it to the knee or as far forward as comfortable and extending back. So again, knee, extend. So we're working core and glutes and of course the shoulders are working to keep us strong, stable and lifted. So we'll begin with that first side again, right leg in three, two, one, here we go. And just keeping that leg lifted the whole time moving it as far forward as comfortable, extending back, trying to straighten that leg out. Should feel the glutes start to wake up as we extend. Good, 10 seconds left. Last five, four, three, two, one, and you can relax. Between our two sides, we're gonna do some push-ups. So a little different from our warm-up, we're gonna do a push-up and a shoulder tap. Push-up, shoulder tap. Just make sure you alternate sides with that shoulder tap. Again, we have 30 seconds here. We'll begin in three, two, one. Here we go. I'm getting as low as comfortable in that push-up. Just a nice light tap of the shoulder at the top. You can take your time here. You can do this up on the toes too, or you can stay on the knees. Totally up to you, you can feel it out. We just have 10 seconds left. Awesome work. Here's five, four, three, two, 
One, you can take a little stretch back. Deep breath. Awesome job. Now I'm gonna flip sides. We're gonna move to the left side for our knee to elbow and extension. So same as the first time here, we're gonna be up on the hands, try to keep them right below the shoulders. We'll stay down on that right knee. We'll begin in three, two, one. Here we go. Knee and as far forward as comfortable, maintaining a nice braced core, drawing belly button towards the spine. I'm trying to extend that leg back. I'm trying to keep that leg lifted the whole time here. Good challenge. 10 more seconds. Here's five, four, three, two, one. And you can relax. We'll take a quick stretch back. And we'll go ahead and shift ourselves forward and all the way down to your mat. Last up here for this first set before we head back to the top, we have single, single, double pull downs. So we're going to be lifted. We're going to pull down a single, pull down a single, and then pull down a double. And as we pull down, we're really focusing on squeezing that shoulder blade on each side and then on both. Legs can be lifted the whole time or if it gets to be a little bit too much, feel free to set them down and just keep going with the pull downs. Sound good? Good, we'll begin in three, two, one, here we go. So again, single pull down, single pull down and double. Squeezing as tight as we can every time we pull down. Working on strengthening the back here, strengthening the glutes as we keep those legs lifted. 10 seconds, squeezing a little bit tighter. Here's four, three, two, one, and you can relax. Woo, we'll take a deep breath, slowly start to make our way back to our knee to elbow, which I'm gonna flip so you can see me. We're gonna start with that right leg once again. 30 seconds in four, three, Two, one, here we go. Spring the knee forward and backward. Keeping the leg lifted, drawing belly button towards the spine. Working to extend that leg back as far as you can, waking those glutes up. 10 seconds left. Here's five, four, three, two, one, and you can relax. Give the arms a little shake. We'll get ready for our push-ups and shoulder tap. Again, one push-up, one shoulder tap, making sure we alternate sides. Rosie's excited about this one. We'll begin in four, three, two, one. Here we go. And one push-up, one shoulder tap. Keep going. Just nice and light with that shoulder tap, getting as low as comfortable with the push up. Ten seconds left. Drawing belly button towards the spine. Here's five, four, three, two, one. And you can take a stretch back. One deep breath. Good. Whenever you're done with the deep breath, you can shift forward. We'll get ready for our second side of our knee to elbow and extension. So left leg, same setup. We'll begin in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Bring that knee forward and extending the leg straight out. And if you're not touching the elbow, totally fine. Just working to keep that leg lifted and any movement we go forward, we are working the core. Awesome work, we have 10 seconds left. Down to five, four, three, two, one, and you can relax. Take a little stretch back, one deep breath. Good, then we'll shift it forward all the way down to the mat. Final time with our super 
Single, single, double, pull down. We have 30 seconds here. Beginning in four, three, two, one. Here we go, lifting up, pulling down, squeezing the shoulder blade, squeezing the shoulder blade, really squeezing tight with the double. And single, single, doubles our pattern. We're already over halfway through. Trying to squeeze even tighter. Last five, four, three, two, one. You can finish it out. Good, and we'll lower down, take a deep breath. We'll kind of peel ourselves up off the mat, flip on over, moving into our second set here. So we're gonna start on our backs and actually stay on our backs the whole time for this round. So same thing, we have four exercises we'll go through. We're gonna start off with glute bridges. So feet are gonna be hip width apart and we have a couple options here. So option one, we are lifting up all the way, bring hips toward the ceiling, lowering back down. If you want an extra challenge, second option is going to be lifting and lowering, not all the way. So you're gonna have a little space, an inch or two, just to keep those muscles engaged the whole time. So we'll get started here. And we have 30 seconds in four, three, two, one. Here we go. And just lifting, lowering. And if you want that challenge, don't lower all the way down. Keep some space between the glutes and the mat. We have 15 seconds left. So try to lift up a little bit higher if we can, really press through those heels. Awesome work. Last five, four, three, two, one. Good, you can lower down, take a breath. Woo. All right, next up, we have some core work. Rosie's getting really excited, here we go. Out of the way, buddy. We're gonna straighten out the left leg, straighten out the right hand, and that left arm is gonna be behind the head. Right leg is gonna stay bent. We have cross crunches. So we're going to sit up to reach towards the outside of that leg, and then slowly lower all the way down. Oh, buddy. Just really into the workouts this week. So again, sitting up to twist and lower down nice and slow. We'll get started with that first side. Again, right hand is reaching in four, three, two, one. Here we go. And sit up, reach, get that little twist at the top. Getting up as high as comfortable, nice and slow on the way down. Home stretch, last five, four, three, two, one, good work. All right, moving to some more glute work, switching up a little bit here. We're gonna go for a butterfly glute bridge. So feet are gonna be together. Knees come out wide, just like a nice butterfly stretch. So you should feel a stretch in the hips here already. From here, we're going to lift up now we're just gonna hold for 30 seconds. So just trying to stay lifted as high as we can, keeping the knees out wide and kind of pressing through the sides of the feet and pressing the feet together. So just lots of pressing, holding, good stuff. Again, we have 30 seconds. We'll begin in four, three, two, one. Here we go. So lift up and really press the hips up towards the ceiling. Your knees stay out nice and wide. We're pressing the feet together, Just holding here. Always remembering to breathe through. Try to lift up a half inch higher. Last 10 seconds. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work. We'll lower down. Next up, we have cross crunches once again, but this time the opposite side. So we have the right leg straightened out. 
the left arm straightened out and the other side will be bent with the left leg, bent with the right arm. So we again are sitting up, twisting, reaching, controlling on the way down. We'll begin in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. And sitting up as high as comfortable for you, gain that little twist as we reach towards the outside of the leg. And nice and slow on the way down. So we're already over halfway through. Final 10 seconds. We'll finish out strong. Here's four, three, two, one, and you can relax. We'll take a deep breath. And we're back to the top, back to our glute bridges. So feet again are hip width apart for this first glute bridge. We are lifting and lowering. If you want that extra challenge, keep some room when we lower down. Don't set yourself all the way down. We'll begin in four, three, two, one. Here we go. And moving nice and slow, move intentionally. By squeezing those glutes, pressing up through the heels as we lift ourselves towards the ceiling. And for that extra challenge, don't lower all the way down. We'll keep those muscles engaged and working. Home stretch. Here's five, four, three, two, one, and you can relax. Awesome work. Moving on to our cross crunch. We're gonna start with the left leg straightened out and the right arm straightened out. We have 30 seconds, beginning in four, three, two, one. Here we go. And sit up to twist, reach, control on the way down. I'm getting up as high as comfortable for you. Keep breathing through, final 10 seconds. Maybe try and get a little higher if we can. Here's five, four, three, two, one, and you can relax. We'll get ready for our butterfly glue bridge next. And again, we are just holding this one. So you can go ahead and bring the feet together, knees out wide, just like our butterfly stretch. We have 30 seconds here, beginning in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Start our stopwatch. It's hard to see when we're just on the ground. But we are pressing the feet together, pressing the hips up towards the ceiling, keeping knees out nice and wide. And of course, squeezing those glutes nice and tight. Awesome work. Lifting a half inch higher, we have 10 seconds. Keep breathing a little bit higher. Here's five, four, three, two, one. And you can lower down, relax, good. All right, final exercise of this round. We have cross crunches with the right leg straightened out, left arm straightened out. Of course, Rosie is here to help us out. We'll begin in four, three, two, one, here we go. <laughs> Sitting up, reaching, and towards the outside of that leg. Getting that little twist across to bring those obliques in. Then nice and slow on the way down. There we go, we're over halfway through. Final 10 seconds. Here's five. Four, three, two, one, and you can relax. Good. All right, we have one quick round to finish things up. And just two exercises this round, so we'll just power through. We're gonna stay on our mats to start. We have a little combo, so we're gonna do some scissor kicks and then right into flutter kicks. So I'll quick show you here. Hands are gonna be below the hips just to help support the low back. Um, for scissor kicks, legs are out wide and we are kicking one over the other. 
And then from here, we're going to move right into flutter kicks going up and down. So again, we'll start horizontal and then go vertical. <laughs> Rosie's giving kisses to everyone today. All right, so we'll get ready here. Scissor kicks first, 15 seconds, and we'll switch right into flutter kicks in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. So again, starting horizontal, kicking one leg over the other, keeping that back nice and flat on the mat. And keep it up, not here much longer. Moving to flutter kicks in four, three, two, one, right into flutter kicks, moving up and down. We'll point the toes. Here we go, fight to keep that back nice and flat. Last five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Woo, fun combo, right? Right. All right, we're gonna flip ourselves up and over. We have a plank variation. Didn't think I forgot about planks, did ya? We have a plank with knee taps. So we are gonna be up on the hands for this variation. However, if it is uncomfortable for the wrist, you're more than welcome to follow along on the forearms. But we are gonna be tapping one knee down, the other knee down, and working to keep the hips as stable as possible. So we're not dropping down, we're just trying to move the leg and then pull it back up. So this can be done again on the forearms. This won't get quite as much of a range with that tap, which is okay. But we have 30 seconds beginning in four, three, two, one, here we go. And just a nice light tap on your mat. You can move at your own pace, really trying to keep the body as stable as we can. And we're drawing belly button towards the spine, bracing that core tight. Here we go, 10 seconds left. Last five, four, three, two, one, and done. Woo! We'll make our way onto our backs once again. Final time through. We have our scissor kicks straight into flutter kicks. So hands are gonna be right below the hips to help keep that back nice and flat. We'll get started in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Starting with our horizontal scissor kick and keeping that back grounded down, breathing through. We'll switch to flutter kicks in four, three, two, one, flutter kicks, point the toes, and back should stay nice and flat. There we go, keep it up. And tiny kicks, we'll try to speed those kicks up in three, two, one, and relax. Woo, we'll take a breath, roll ourselves up. We'll flip on over, and our final exercise of the day, we have our plank and knee taps. And I'll, I'll be up on the hands, but you can also do this on the forearms if the wrists are feeling a little sore from all the holding in this position today. But anywho, we'll get excited. Final 30 seconds of work in four, three, two, one. Here we go. And just a light tap and pulling right back up. Bracing the core nice and tight by drawing belly button towards the spine. And trying to keep the hips as stable as possible with that dip down of the knee. 10 seconds left. Home stretch. Here's five, four, three, two, one. And we'll stretch it back. Let's get a quick cool down here. Going to child's pose. Knees out nice and wide. We'll set the hips towards the heels and stretch the arms forward. Really nice full body stretch. Apologies for our assistant Rosie picking all his loudest toys. Take a few more deep breaths here, slowing things down. Good. Then from here, 
We'll shift ourselves forward, moving back into a couple cat and cows. So just like our warm up, we'll take a big inhale to drop the belly down, lift the gaze, lift the tailbone. And as we exhale, we'll round out the spine, pull the shoulder blades apart. Go through two more, inhaling to drop the belly down, lift the gaze, lift the tailbone, and exhale to round out the spine. One more big inhale. Good, and a big exhale to round the spine out. Awesome job, and we'll make our way to a neutral spine, and we'll take some full body shifts, drawing those circles like we did in our warm up. Should feel a nice stretch in the hips, glutes, a little relief for the shoulders as well when we kind of sit our way back and we'll switch directions. A few deep breaths here. Awesome work. All right, well, that is all I have for you today. Uh, feel free to get some more stretching in on your own or you can even go through more exercises on your own if you want to add a little more, but thanks again for joining. That is core and more. Of course, Rosie was stinker again.